Hello, everybody. It's your boy, Monkey Jones, everybody's favorite, favorite artist. A couple drinks in, and I was thinking, at this point, my book, The Triflers, has been out for about a month, and I've been receiving a lot of email questions about it, both from people who haven't read it and people who want to know things about it before they buy. So I thought, okay, fine, let's, uh, I'm drunk enough, let's do a live stream, and people can ask me questions about the book, whatever they want, but there, there are some things that I, I probably won't answer, uh, but go ahead and, and shoot whatever you want, and we'll see how this goes. Mr. Lag says, I don't have time for you shit, monkey. That's okay, Mr. Lag, you're the one who clicked on the motherfucking link. Oh boy, now it's going fast. Um, <laughs> Simon Midkiff says, "Should I buy your book?" Uh, eh, I don't know. It's okay. It's I mean, if if you want. <laughs> does the book have grandfather clocks? No, it doesn't. Are you a school shooter? No, I'm not. Was your book written by the Jews? No, it wasn't. Is a story about a wheelchair kid a straight copy paste from the very famous Four Chan Green text? I think it was inspired by it, but I wrote that over two years ago. So I, I can't say for sure, but it it sounds right. Why did you write a book? I've written like four books, my dude. Cause I like writing books. Mr. Meatman wants to know sequel. Maybe someday. Maybe someday long off, but I'm not planning on it anytime soon. Will the stream contain any spoilers for the book? No. Well, no, probably not. Nothing major. Mumkey, what is the overall theme of your book? As an English major, you should know. Well, themes are kind of big ideas, like the American dream or friendship or things like that. So I, I guess the theme of this one would be kind of identity and what it means to be yourself and whether or not you should be proud or ashamed of certain aspects of you. Um, and another theme would be, I guess, sociopathy and evil and exploring uh, those ideas. Is there anime in the book? Is there rape? Uh, there's, yes, actually, there's a good discussion of some anime in the book. And as far as rape goes, uh, it really depends on your definition of rape. Is Mason Elliott named after Elliot Roger? Yes, it is a nod to Elliot Roger. Hey, Mumkey, I'm a virgin and I'm still 36. Is it too late? Yeah, probably. I'm sorry, Clarence. Why did you write four books? Because I like writing, my dude. Will you write any more books? What are some other ideas you have? Uh, I might write more books in the future. Right now, I guess the plan would be to polish up a book that I wrote a few years ago to probably release either next year or later in this year. Uh, but as far as writing something completely new, maybe. But I feel like I don't have a whole lot of time to do that. Maybe. I don't know. What's the book about? It's about a, a school shooting, a high school school shooting inspired by the Elliot Roger case, dramatized in a less boring way than the fucking My Twisted World. Can I get a discount? Yeah, there's a discount code on my main channel, on the video, um, Monkeys, and Manifesto, Anime Book, whatever the fuck. There's a coupon code in the comments, so you can use that to save like 15% or something. Bob Bobbington says, Mumkey, just wanted to say I bought your book for $40 because I'm an Australia fag and it was well worth it. I'm glad to hear it. Not glad to hear that it costs $40 if you live in Australia, but uh, I'm glad it was worth it. Are the Jews in the book? I think it's implied that one of the lawyers is a Jew, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Can't say for sure. I'm on page 41. Why does Mason Elliott hate Thanksgiving? You have to... Uh, <laughs> Reread the chapter. Uh, Ebook when? Someday, Junkie. Someday. I'm still working on that. It's a lot harder than you think. How many sales just to, to justify a sequel? Oh my god, man. <sighs> um, I don't want to write a sequel unless I have just a really good idea for it because I feel like I, I poured a lot of my best ideas into this book. Uh, but the ending certainly leaves room for a possible sequel if I wanted to do one. But I, uh, I don't know. 
I'd have to be really confident about it. It's not really about the number of sales. It's just if I feel like I can do something that that fits the quality of the first one. What is the tone of the book? Is it funny, dramatic, stupid? It's darkly comedic at times and then just dramatic at other times. But it, it's a very serious book. It's not like my anime reviews really at all. If you make an audiobook, can it open up with your grandmother's clock? Uh, I'll see what I can do, Drag. Why don't you try to make a more mainstream book and make money? Because I'm already working within a, a niche, or a niche, however you want to pronounce that. And <laughs> based on the book sales so far, I'd say I'm meeting the needs of this niche very well. Because I've sold more than 98% uh, of other self-published books, and that's a, that's a fact that I have. So I think I'm doing just fine. And if I wrote a mainstream book, then it would just be as bland and boring as all the other mainstream books, and it wouldn't stand out. Is it more focused on the comedy or the psychological thriller? It's a lot more on the psychological thriller stuff. The comedy comes and goes, but I, I think the characters, the, the characters in their mentality and their mental illness the way that they talk and the way that they act is sometimes funny if you just have a really dark sense of humor. <laughs> is the book a prophecy? I, I certainly hope not. How long did it take to write the book? I started writing it my freshman year of college and I think I, I finished writing the first draft maybe my sophomore or junior year, and then I didn't touch it for about a year. And then the last year I spent editing it, and then now it's out. So I guess four years with lots of huge gaps in between. If Elliot Roger were still alive, do you think he would get it? I think he would, but I don't think he would have taken the time to read it. He was more into playing video games all day. Would you direct a movie about the book and act in it? No. I, I'm very much convinced that this book could not be made into a movie. The mass shooting niche, yeah, it exists. You'd be surprised. I mean, my Elliot Roger audiobook has thousands of views on each fucking part. I heard today on DigiBros that there's a 12-year-old girl who smears cum on herself. Can you confirm? <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny. You'll have to check it out for yourself. How many hours did you work on writing it per day? It's not like it was a day job. I was doing it just in between classes. So it's not like I worked on it every day. It was just some days. You know, one day I'd write out a whole chapter, and then I'd go weeks without even touching it. Will there be dank cushion bleach in the book? No, I don't think either one of those things are in the book. Is there any Hitler references in the book? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff about Nazis because Nazis performed a lot of human human experiments back in the day, the good old days. And one of the main characters is is pretty obsessed with human experimentation. Do you share the sentiment of some of the characters in your book? I'd like to imagine there's a little bit of me in most of the characters, so I guess. Fuck you, monkey. I'm reading it as you speak, and it's fan fucking tastic, you bastard. Thanks, vape master. I should have put quotes on the back of the, the second edition of the book, and uh, the quotes will be attributed to YouTube people. So, like, it's fan-fucking-tastic, says Vape Master, you know, like a bunch of retarded shit. Monkey, who was your favorite character in the book? Mine was Don. Same here. Don is my favorite character. Uh, I, I, I always say Don's my favorite character, and Mario was the most fun to write. <laughs> Vape Master says Don is a cunt. Well, <laughs> your Elliot video is 10 out of 10. Thank you. When is the next Raising Children with Autism stream? I gotta wait until I am very, very drunk for that one. So probably next week. That feel when you cut her pictures in half so they look more like her. How does it feel to be the best-selling indie autist of all time? I wouldn't say best-selling, but I am in the top 2%. Hey, Monkey, have you ever considered using your creative writing skills in a tabletop D&D uh, &D stream? Your skills could make a very interesting plot. If somebody else was doing some sort of D and D podcast or whatever the fuck, I'd join in and do a character. So if anybody does that, send them my monkeys away on Twitter or something. Why can't it be made into a movie? 
because a lot of it is people explaining their philosophies on life and and it, Mario explaining his life story from when he, when he was young. So you'd need like three different actors to play him as he's growing up. And then there are some uh, sexual violent scenes, perhaps that I don't even think would get an NC-17 rating. I think they would just be banned. For all I know, the book's illegal. I haven't looked into that. So get it while you can. <laughs> How much for your ebook? It's probably going to go for uh, five ninety nine, maybe it's four ninety. I don't know. I don't know what the proper price of an ebook is. I don't buy them. Will there be strong Christian overtones? No, actually, the, the characters are edgy teenagers, so Christianity gets blown the fuck out quite a few times in the book. Is Don hot? She looks a little bit like Watamote, so if you're into Tomiko, I guess. When you were younger, did you also obsess about other school shootings? It depends on your definition of younger. I started writing the book when I was 18, so I guess I was younger than I am right now. Did you learn anything as you wrote it? I did a lot of research into Nazi experiments, so I learned a lot about those. I learned a lot about um, um, hypo, I, I can't think of the word right now. When you're like freezing to death, what's that fucking called? I don't know. Did you ever try the Cajun wrap at cookout? No, I, I tried a lot of things at cookout, but I was only there for 10 days, so I couldn't try everything. But soon, uh, once I move down there, I'm going to try every single thing on the cookout menu. Was there a reason for the names of the book or just a random name generator? No, I, I said before Mason Elliott was sort of a nod to Elliot Roger. And then one of the police characters is named after a cop in Case Closed, or a.k.a. Detective Conan, one of my favorite animes when I was a kid. But otherwise, for the names, I went to the year that the kids would have been born the characters would have been born and looked up popular baby names and then just chose ones that I liked. So like popular baby names from that year. So yeah, there's no Atticus Finch level of, of name meaning here because that's not really the angle I was going for. I just picked names that I liked and thought kind of matched the character. How old are you? I'm 21. Was the Hungarian man real? Uh, the Serbian man or the Hungarian man? The Hungarian man was the, the first one, right? And I, I can't answer that. <sighs> Monkey, what percent of the cost of the book do you get to keep? So, I f um, how much are they selling for? 15 bucks? And I make 5 bucks, so I guess 33%. It's a pretty good markup. I, I heard from Maddox that most authors only make $1 per book, and I'm making 5 so I'm blowing the fuck out. It should be made into an HBO series. I don't know, man. If, if there is a 12-year-old girl rubbing cum on herself, I don't think they can put that on TV. Why is it called The Triflers? That's the name of the the group of kids that it's about. And they have an after-school club called The Triflers. So it's kind of like the movie Hunger. Don't know, never heard of it. Rape, yes, yes. I haven't read it. I'm just here to bother you. Cool, Adam Speg. Nice to see you. Can I get a review from Uncle Alex? Uh... <laughs> I'm sure he would like it very much. Maybe I'll send him a copy. Why is the font for the page numbers Calibri Body? I don't know if it is, but if it is, it's because for each character, I wanted to have a different font so that they'd really stick out both on the page and in your mind. And I probably just ran out of the three main uh, fonts, so I just picked the fourth most popular one for the page numbers. Maybe, I don't remember. Tomoko! Who is the best female character? It's Don. Don's the best character in the whole book. What's your favorite school shooting? Well, it's got to be UCSB, baby. The best female character is definitely Mario. Is that because he has tits because he's fat? Hypothermia, there we go. Sorry, I've, I've had a few drinks. I was thinking hypochondria, but that's a very different thing. Do you plan on writing books on your own in the future, or are you going to team up with somebody? Uh, I don't think I could work with somebody to write a book. I barely like working with people to make YouTube videos, so a book would be a nightmare. So that was totally Truman at the end, right? I can't, can't say, buddy. I can't fucking say. If there was a movie of the Triflers, which actors would play who? Well, they're all like 15 and 16-year-old kids, and I don't, <laughs> I don't watch enough Disney shows to know all the young actors. 
So again, I don't know. Is this a pop-up book, uh, pictures book? No, but I should make a copy of that. Have a little pop-up of a 12-year-old girl rubbing cummer all over herself. That'd be funny. Don Bracken, more like a dork Bracken. <laughs> sure. Also, Serbian guy is the name of the guy from a Serbian film. Hey, that's a good insight. That's a good insight. Does Don know that? What's your favorite Japanese anime, and what's your favorite anime book besides the Triathlon? Yeah, my own book is my favorite book. My favorite Japanese anime is Breaking Bad, probably. My favorite anime book is Native Son by Richard Wright. It's a, it's a great book. It was part, My book was partially inspired by that book in a few ways. Why is Maddox su such a cuck? Because he claims there's nothing wrong with being a cuckold, so he's automatically attributed to that word. Can I make a manga of your book so it's like the SAO of school shooting novels? I don't give a shit. Go ahead. I don't even know what a manga is. <sighs> Monkey, will you ever do Monkey's anime review of your own book? No, because like only 3% of the viewers would even get it. Either I'm going to make jokes that are specific to the plot and the characters of the book, and then you, you don't understand it unless you've read it, or I make really vague jokes that don't have to do with anything, and then what's the point? Did you have to make the Death Note part quite so cringy? Mario, man, I, I can't speak for Mario. If you think Mario is cringy, you know, that's your opinion. He's a 15-year-old who wants to kill, he wants to shoot up his school, so you have to tell me if that's a cringy mindset. Does your book contribute to Borwaj's propaganda? No, <laughs> I don't think so. The next book should be in all comic sans. Yeah, I'll work on it. Monkey, love your book. How do I explain to my parents what I'm reading without them thinking I'm becoming a sociopath or a psychopath? Uh, I don't know. Don't let them see the back of the book, first of all. Luckily, the front cover is vague and plain enough that they'll have no idea what it is. So just come up with a lie. Are you going to make a porno about the book? Yeah, I'm working on it right now. Can you write a book about the origin story of Manimal's subway preferences? I'm pretty sure I revealed all of these secret ingredients on some episode of the PCP podcast, but I don't remember which one. If you could play yourself, would you play yourself in a live-action adaptation of this book? I wouldn't fit any of the main characters, but I guess I could be an extra because I, I perpetually look like a high school student even though I'm graduated from college. Would you ever consider writing a screenplay? Uh, maybe. I do. Writing dialogue is my favorite part of the writing process. I don't really like going into a bunch of details about shit that doesn't matter. So I think I might be more attuned to writing a screenplay or just a normal play. But I don't know why I would, because it's not like it would ever get made. Whereas a book, once you finish the book, that's the final product. Is what, just a meme? Um, is the hardcover still coming? No, the hardcover is not coming. I tried to make it, and they wanted to charge like $35 for it. And I said, nope, not doing that. So maybe I'll maybe I'll make it on a different website. But I don't know. It, it didn't seem worth it. There's a section of my library called Manga. What the fuck is that, and why are all the anime books in it? I don't know, dude. That's your library. Figure that out. Fan theory, at the end it was Mario's mom. <laughs> I, mean, I, don't, I can't say. <laughs> That's a really good fan theory, though. I'd like to see you back it up with, like, evidence from the book. Does Lily look like Lily from Pokemon? I'd fuck her either way. Lily doesn't get a lot of description of what she looks like, I don't think, so if you want her to look like that, you can. Would you ever consider making sincere book reviews or talk more about books you like or authors you appreciate? Yeah, probably. I think I'm going to do an anime book review over Native Son at some point. But maybe I'll do more. And I never really did one over My Twisted World. Like I just did the Elliot Roger thing. So maybe I'll still do that too. Why don't you ever show your face? <laughs> you clearly have not watched very many of my videos. Or been on my Twitter. Or been on my Snapchat. Did Don have any cavities? That's anybody's guess. 
I want to get a water gun, fill it with sperm, and shoot up my school. Or shoot up your teacher, you know what I'm saying? Can you moan or grunt in my ear a bit? I need to come. Oh. To what extent was the research for this book in regards to the characters, excluding the Nazi experiments? Did you research things like psychology for something? No. No, I, not really. I took a bunch of psychology classes in high school and college, so I just kind of based it off of the things I knew from that. I didn't do any research for characterization. Are you drunk? I hear cups. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a little drunk. I need to open, actually, my next beer. Honest question, Mom. How did you manage to write a book? Uh, lots of dedication, hard work, and not having any friends in college. Spend your Friday and Saturday nights and, and all your other nights just writing a book alone in your room, baby. Which character do you most identify with? Um, that's tough. Because the two most fleshed out characters are just absolute monsters in different ways. Um, I do like Don a lot, though. So I'd probably go with Don because, yeah, yeah, Don's pretty great. How did you graduate from college so early? You're only 21. What are you, a fucking genius? Do I seem like a fucking genius? I started college when I was 17. Well, well no, I, I started it when I was 18 in one month, so that's how. And I graduated a semester early because I just graduated last December. What actor would you want to play you in a live-action monkey anime reviews movie? Um, whoever the monkey was in Monkey Up. You making the sequel, says Clagg. Uh, again, I'm, I am i don't know about that. Maybe. What do your parents think the book? My grandma really liked it. She made me sign her copy. I think that might have just been a grandma being supportive regardless. But she said it was very interesting, and she liked it a lot. My mom said she read it, but then didn't have any questions or comments about it, so I don't believe her. And my dad, the only book he's ever read in his whole life was... Uh, that book by S.E. Hilton, whatever the fuck's that called, um, The Outsiders. That's the only book my dad's ever read, so I, I wasn't planning on him reading it. Recommend me a book I need to fill the hole in my heart. Uh, if you want to have a good laugh, I would highly recommend The Disaster Artist by Greg Sestero. It's, he's the guy from the room who wasn't Tommy Wiseau. He was the guy who played Mark, the famous question, um, uh, like, uh, so how's your sex life? And uh, you know, all those stupid fucking memes. If you haven't seen the room, or even if you have, I'd highly recommend that book. But you should probably watch the room first. And they're actually adapting the disaster artist into a movie right now starring James Franco and his brother. James Franco playing Tommy Wiseau. And that's coming out this year. So read that shit real quick so you can go enjoy this Phenomenal looking movie. It has fucking Brian Cranston in it. Uh, I think Zac Efron is playing the the gangster from the room, which is really funny. Was the eleven year old using her phone to message Digi? No, I think his name was Chance, not Conrad. Have you and Ben ever considered having you rewrite the dialogue for Ben's comics because his dialogue is beyond awful? Is that right? I didn't think it was that bad. <laughs> but I'm not like a master of dialogue either. It's just my favorite thing to write. How comedic is your school shooting book? It depends on your sense of humor. But I'd say there, there's plenty of laughs. <laughs> it, some of it's subtle, but it's really funny if you, if you pick up on it. Can we see a PCP discussion of the book, or at least the creation process? You mean like with all the PCP members? Because the only one who's read it is Digi, and I... I, I guess Nate is working on it. I don't know if he'll read it or not. But I don't want to bother them and be like, oh, good guys, come, please talk about my book with me. I felt bad enough <laughs> bothering Digi on his Let's Play about my book, and that's why I had to get super drunk to do it because I, I don't like forcing other people to shill for me. I've only recently gotten used to shilling myself. Oh, hey, Jokey's in here. My He's my motherfucking Torchic. <laughs> Who hurts you? What do you think about the Ben X 
Monkey Saint, uh, Monkey X Ben Saint Pokemon fan fiction. It was pretty good. It was pretty good writing. I was into it. I jerked off a couple times. What do the SJW cucks at your university think of the book? And they don't think anything of it because they don't know it exists. Any characters you would take a spot on the top 10 best waifus list? I think Don's a pretty good waifu. Just depends on your preferences. Uh, your book makes for some really good fab material. Thanks. You must be on, what, chapter 11? Do you have any advice for any of us wannabe writers? Yeah, I'd say the advice is you got to you got to choose a subject matter that is just that is just bizarre or very interesting and the stupid example I always give is that I would rather read a mediocre book about a school shooting than read a very very well crafted book about like a staircase because I don't give a fuck about how elegant and beautiful a staircase is but even a mediocrely written story about a school shooting would be interesting to me. So just choose a topic that is provocative in the first place, and then, and then after that, you, you can get people's interest, and then you can work on making it better after. So d don't don't waste your talent and skills on things that are fucking boring and dumb, and things that have been done over and over again. Try to find something just crazy and new. Mason is the best character. I'm glad you say that, Science, because he's the one I'm the most worried about. I think I dedicate, I, like when I was finishing the book, I was like, oh man, I dedicated quite a few chapters to Mason. I hope people like him, because compared to the other characters, he might be boring, but like a lot of people say that they're really, they really relate to Mason, and I'm thinking, oh, thank God that people like him. He was my biggest worry. Monkey, what would be your plan if you were to massacre a bunch of students? Uh, you'll just have to read the part when Mario details how his student goes, because that was me trying to be as logical about it as possible. Have you been listening to any interesting music lately? Uh, not really. Uh, I haven't been listening to music a lot at all, because I usually only listen to music in my car, and I, I hardly ever leave the house anymore, because I don't have to go to school. So I kind of just listen to podcasts now. Question, is the main character supposed to be an extension of you? In a few ways, yes. When she talks about her first job, it's almost identical to my first job. And there's a lot of direct parallels between me and most of the main characters. Who was your favorite all-time school shooter? Elliot Roger. It's not even a question. Not even a question. Your grandma is a sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah, she sure is. It's too bad she doesn't want to be in videos anymore. Whenever I bring it up, she always kind of is coy about it, and she seems very shy. So uh, I don't want to force her into it, which is disappointing. I really wanted to make her watch the Filthy Frank Cake trilogy, but that might have pushed her over the edge. The Disaster Artist was one of the most compelling reads of my life. Yeah, it's, it's one of my favorite books. It's not only probably the funniest book I've ever read, but it's also kind of gut-wrenching at times. Tommy Wiseau and Greg Sestero are both very compelling characters, even though they're real people. Um, is Elliot Roger God Twitter actually that of the Supreme Gentleman? No, because I'm pretty sure that that Twitter account made some tweets long after the <laughs> massacre happened, so probably not. Ben's dialogue is fucking great. Well, there you go. Did you read 13 Reasons Why? Yeah, I fucking hate it. The The review of 13 Reasons Why within the book is pretty much <laughs> straight from the, the monkey's mouth. <laughs> Fuck that gay-ass book. Yeah, Mario's criticisms of that book are pretty much my own. You'll find that a lot of things in the book are pretty much just me. Monkey, why would you put subtle humor in your book for all autistic morons? Sorry, I didn't know I was going to be... Uh, famous for being autistic by the time the book was ready to be released. I started writing it when I was 18, and, and the audience was just myself. Jokey wants to become a, an adorable blazing ki Blaziken one day. I hope so. I hope you don't die, Jokey. This this third gym that I'm supposed to fight, I've been looking it up, and it's, it's not looking too good. <laughs> 
if I ever even make it that far. Have you read Digi Bro's quotations book? That's kind of rude. <laughs> I haven't read it. I'm planning on listening to the audiobook because he said it's only four hours. So I could chug that out while I'm playing some uh I'm gonna I'm playing Pokemon Moon again. I started a new game so I can actually enjoy it this time. Will we get another monkey anime awards show? No, probably not. Did you take your book to any publishing houses first before self-publishing, or did you skip straight to that because you're smarter than the average chimp? Uh, uh, like a year ago, I, I sent the the idea to publishing houses, but they nobody fucking replied because they never do. And I, I started sending it again after I got all these positive reviews, but I haven't gotten anything back yet. So I'm not, I'm not planning on it actually getting published, and I don't really care. As long as, like, you know, I, I have over 100 people who have bought it, and I'm, that's great for me. That's all I need. I relate to Mason because, he's a, uh, because I'm a filthy normal fag. Yeah, he's really the straight man of the book, isn't he? Surrounded by all these insane people. I haven't read the Trifters yet, no spoilers. I'm not spoiling anything major, and I'm skipping any extremely spoilery questions. So you're not, I'm not ruining much for you. I gotta move all my shit around so I can reach the mouse better. God damn it. I need to get a cordless mouse that works. Mason gets the shit end of the dick. I fucking hate Don. Don's the best, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. Have you seen the dirties? No, I haven't. But people keep recommending it to me. So I imagine it has to do with the school shooting or something. You mentioned in one of your Spyro videos that you don't really play modern games besides Pokemon. Why is that? What's the most modern game you last played? I guess the most recent game I've played is... Uh, Undertale, maybe? And it's because I don't have any game consoles and I don't really care to go out and buy them. I, I just don't care. Do you imagine the high school as your high school and all the other places do you imagine where you grew up? Yeah, when I, Mario was mapping out specifically how he would do his shooting, I just imagined my high school and how it was laid out. Now, the, as far as other places in the book, the restaurant Mar um, that Don works at is the same as the first restaurant I worked at. And uh, Chow, the Asian character Chow, and they spend a lot of time in his basement. That's identical to my friend Chum's basement and how me and my friends would also spend our, our early out Wednesdays going to his house, to his basement to watch like gore videos and, and we'd make like reaction videos watching uh, like the Pain Olympics and shit. 13 Reasons Why It Was Pretty Good. Yeah, if you're fucking retarded. Fuck that book. That author was... Jay Asher can go fuck himself. Fuck that guy. I'm gonna tweet at him. Eat your heart out, motherfucker. Well, there... As there will likely not be a hardcover copy of the book, can you at least guarantee that the stuff cover will make me hard? I can't guarantee that. It depends on what you're into. Um, Digi's book was an amazing ride. Well, that's good. He said he wrote the second half of it all in the same day. What made you want to be a YouTuber? It's There's no other f really format out there where you can just make whatever the hell you want and throw it out there. I mean, I know that there's newer things that are emerging, but they're, nothing's as popular as YouTube. YouTube has no real competition. So I just wanted the opportunity to make shit that people could see, and that's the best way to do it without getting caught up in the actual industry of all this garbage. How long does a writing need to be to be considered a book? I need to know because I wrote a couple paragraphs last night that I want to publish. I define a book as at least 40,000 words. I think the average book is 50,000 words. And the triflers, for comparison, is like 96,000 words. Are you still watching Ben's playthrough when you lost your Nuzlocke? I gave up watching it. You gave up watching Ben's when I lost? That's sad. Yeah, I'm still watching Ben's. 
is Doreen really trans or completely full of and exactly what Don says she is? Uh, things like that are for the viewer to decide or the reader to decide. I, I don't want to disclose things like that. Like things about characters that aren't clear or like if anything's ambiguous, I don't want to answer that because I think the reader brings things to anything that they read and they bring their own interpretations. And if an author straight up says, no, this is what it's meant to be, then that might ruin the reader's experience. And, you know, I, I want people to have their own ideas about things. I just realized that around this time last year is when I first found Monkey. Yeah, one one month from today is the one year anniversary of the current Monkey Jones channel. And then this one that you're on right now, Monkey Jones 2, is the old Monkey Jones channel. And by old, I mean like the third Monkey Jones channel. It's a whole long, long story of a million channels getting deleted, but but here we are. How did you convince someone to answer your call for the Watamote review, or did you actually ask someone without their knowledge? I don't I don't remember what you're talking about. Oh. Oh yeah, the girl at the end of Watamote. That's a, a girl that I was in theater with in high school. Yeah, she was pretty good. Have you read Stephen King's on writing? I have not. Why are you going to move again? Because eh, I got a I got a good gig set up down in North Carolina, baby. Where can I pirate your book? Probably on the open seas, my man. I prefer Showdown to the actual games lately, but a Nuzlocke is fine too. Yeah, I don't know why anybody would watch a non-Nuzlocke Nuzlocke Pokemon playthrough. That's just about the most boring thing I can imagine. So if they're not doing a Nuzlocke, why would you even watch it? Don isn't the best. She's fucking light Yagami. Eh, maybe. No, well, no, because light wants to make the world a pure place by killing the filth, and Don doesn't want to do that at all. That's not Don's MO at all. When are you going to play Fire Emblem? You know that game you got in the one mailbox episode? Yeah, it's sitting not even three feet away from me. I just haven't gotten around to it. And a lot of people have said it's like the worst Fire Emblem game, so I'm thinking, uh-oh, I don't even know what this is. And when I play games that I've never played before, people always get pissed. Like the Undertale thing was a nightmare because everybody's like, oh, Mimki, why aren't you playing the game perfectly on your very first playthrough? It's like commenters are fucking retarded, so I, I'm very hesitant to play a game that I've never played before. Have you seen We Need to Talk About Kevin? No, I haven't seen, I guess, a lot of movies, huh? How does it feel to reclaim the most edgy title from me? When did I do that? Uh, oops, skipped too far down. Uh, somebody asked, and I don't, I don't want to spoil it by reading it all, but uh, he basically asked, um, there's a contradiction in Nan's Don's narration, is she playing 3D chess or did I fuck it? Well, <laughs> I definitely didn't fuck it. So uh, take that for what you will. Uh, Chubby Walrus says that the sound went out, but I don't... I think it's just him, because nobody else is saying that. Why is the Serbian guy such a badass? I don't know. Uh, has Cobb, Biggs, or any of your other friends read the book? No, of course not. Of course not. Do you know them? Of course they don't fucking read. Are you kidding me? Will this be a book be a good manual to do a school shooting? Ah, uh, maybe. Would you ever do a Sun and Moon Nuzlocke again? No, that game sucks dick when it comes to doing Nuzlocks. You hardly get any Pokemon at the beginning, and there aren't any gym battles, which is the whole point of a Nuzlocke for me is the planning for the gym battles. So just the way that the game is made, it's it's not good for Fucking Nuzlocke's at all. How long is Mason? I imagine his dick's probably like five or six inches. How does this compare to the art of the deal? <laughs> well, they're, they're both about uh, maniacal sociopaths who want power, so I guess they're sort of the same. I enjoyed Ben's white playthrough, but I was really caught up with the dual aspect of the current one, so when you lost it, it felt a little pointless. Yeah, well, I, don't, I think Ben's keeping up the quality of his first one. He's just very slow at updating.
What times are you usually on Pokemon Showdown? I haven't been on that since me and Digi fought each other. Did you make your depression video with the intention of using excerpts from Mario's Manifesto? Yeah, the depression review on my channel is word for word taken from the book, from part of Mario's Manifesto. So, yeah, take that for what you will, I guess. I guess it, the depression review is not word for word what I truly believe. It's just like what it, a character that I wrote believes, but it, it's close enough. Uh, a friend of mine freaked out when he recognized the skyline in your That's So Raven review. Oh, does he live in Iowa? It's funny that you're moving to North Carolina because John Darnell lives there and you look like a young version of him. What, does he look like an ape? You definitely need to watch. We need to talk about Kevin. Okay. Do you have a monkey anime review of Metal Gear Solid planned? No, I don't. But maybe someday. <laughs> have you seen The Strange Thing About the Johnsons? Yeah, I have. I love that movie. It's not really a movie. It's a short film. It's like 30 minutes long, but it's great. And I keep skipping to the bottom. Whatever. Do you ever realize Shroomish is a pure grass, grass type? Sorry about... I, I can't fucking talk on all this booze. Uh, you'll find out tomorrow morning. In about nine hours, you'll find out if Monkey ever learns the truth about Shroomish. Will Trump's Muslim ban interfere with your plans to get assassinated by ISIS? Uh, no. Pink Canoe says this book's not as good as my previous book. <laughs> oh, yeah, you haven't even read this one, have you? And you spell the fucking name of the book wrong. Okay, let's just skip to the bottom again. When is Anime Spectrum Podcast coming back? I don't know. Probably never at this point. Does your GF live close to you, or is it a long-distance thing? Well, let's just say maybe she lives in North Carolina, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Tell Baku to keep making brick bronze videos. Yeah, I don't know where those are. He better hurry up and update. Who's your favorite patron? Uh, whoever's giving me 50 bucks. That's the best one. That feel with no sheep, GF. Monkey, I still enjoy your content. Okay, and I'm I'm officially to the bottom, so I guess the question stopped rolling in. That's fine. I've probably been going long enough anyway, haven't I? Does this mean you'll be separated from Animal? I already am separated from Animal. I haven't talked to him in months. How the fuck long have I been going? This doesn't even tell me. You said you're moving to NC because I go to college in Johnson City, Tennessee, and it's not too far away from Asheville. Maybe I can meet you. Uh, I mean, I'm going to need to make new friends when I'm down there. Do you know how to act? Do you want to be a character in Monkey's Anime Reviews? I could use new actors who are reliable. And, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why didn't you make Don and Mason's sex scene hotter? Yeah, good question. Why do you think people want a sequel for so many things? Your book, in my opinion, is the best example of something that should be a standalone. Yeah, I agree. I think the book works really great as a standalone. And I don't really want to write a sequel because it just it, I don't think it could live up to the first one. It's just it's just too much of what it is and the way that it ends, I I don't think the second one would even hold a match unless I came up with like a really good idea. How does it feel that people unironically watch your content? It's one of the best feelings in the world. It's what I've always aspired to. And uh, I can't get enough. What is Tao's power level? Tao, that he's a mythical being, that Tao. A.K.A. Chao's uncle. One of the most intriguing characters in the book. I'd say his power level is probably uh, 8,999. He's probably got the, the second highest power level in the book. Will we ever get the finale of your anime fight series? No, the two... The two winners dropped out in Baku Boys 101 was made the official victor of anime fights. What will you go to college for? Well, I'm a college graduate, so the questions are relevant. Uh, when will you break up with Sheep over and live with me in, in Arizona? I'll keep my burrow warm for you. Shit, if I, uh, if I break up with her and get kicked out, I'm going to be 
completely homeless. So I guess I'll have to live with fans for weeks at a time. Just uh, hopping from fan to fan. When is the prequel coming out? <laughs> I don't I don't even know what that would be. Holocaust enemy review win. Well, I do have to do Mein Kampf at some point because the, the fans voted for it. Will you pay me to act for you? No. We need a new meme like the Growlithe meme, but better. You can't be Growlithe. It's the best memes. Sheepover makes good vids and sounds cute, to be honest. Can we see your girlfriend? Yeah, she's in the video when I went to Digi's house. Uh, why are women... Uh, women are the root of all evil. She's in that. So go look for her. Monkey, you are the new Hidaki Ano. Okay. You should start scouting for some more artists to have season two of anime fights. I tried, and a lot of people sent in their audition tapes, but I didn't see anything. Like, a few people were okay, but it's like, eh, this isn't worth it. I don't see anything that's really that phenomenal. You know, no offense to the people who tried out, but it's like, eh, this, this experiment has gone on long enough. What's your actual opinion on Neon Genesis Evangelion? I guess I gotta watch it again to really get it or something. I don't know. It didn't seem all that special to me. I guess I have to watch it like 10 more times, probably. If you need a new Nuzlocke idea, maybe look at Tu Haoman. Is that like another ROM hack? Sipover says I'm in it for that one blurry frame, yeah. You don't know who Hideko Anno is? No, I don't fucking know who some random Jap is. What video game has most consumed your life in the past? I guess the Spyro series. And then followed by Mega Man and Pokemon. Like, they're all three probably tied. I don't know. I've played them all a whole fucking lot. Do you still take mail from us? Yeah. I check my mailbox every day. I'm trying to collect them all so before I move, I can do my... My big finale episode. Right now I only have two packages, so hurry up and send that shit. Oh, if you were actually moving close and need someone, I was the guy who you asked to sign the book. Hey, yeah, I talk to you on Snapchat all the time. Yeah, he, he sent his book to my P.O. box so I could sign it and then send it to his house. So I actually lost a dollar on his sale because I had to pay $6 to ship it to him, but... That's okay. He wanted it signed. My favorite Spyro game is with David Spade as Sparks and Elijah Wood as Spyro. My favorite Spyro game is Fuck You, Bubonic Narwhal, bitch. I don't care if you're a patron. Fuck you, <laughs> bitch ass. Why did you go to college and what did you go for? I went to college because my parents forced me to. I didn't want to. And I went, uh, I didn't know what I wanted to do for the first year. And then I studied to be an English teacher, but then when student teaching came around, I didn't want to do it. So then I graduated early with an English degree. So I pretty much wasted three and a half years of my life. Do you think a part of your audience doesn't really care about your serious videos? I'm sure that every single video I put up, there's a large portion of people who don't give a shit about it for whatever reason. And I don't really give a shit. I always just make the videos I want to make. I don't care if people want them or not. Do you get good grades, Monk? Both in college and high school, I graduated with a 3.9 GPA, so almost perfect, not quite. I think I'm almost done here. I'll probably go for another minute or two. And what are your future plans beyond YouTube? I don't know yet. I don't have any plans. I'm just fucked. I don't see your girlfriend in the Root of All Evil video. Well, you weren't looking close enough. Did you enjoy my AMA? I enjoyed getting the top comment on it. Do your patrons fund your alcoholism? No, I don't buy my own alcohol, believe it or not. There's just always some in the house somehow. There's always other people buying it, and then I just drink it, and they don't care. All right, folks, that's it for tonight. Go buy my fucking book. Link in the description. Buy the, buy the book. 
Make your parents proud. They'll think you're being smart reading a book. They don't have to know what it's about. They don't have to know who wrote it. Make your you got to do a school report over a book for a book talk in high school. Do this one. It'll be funny. Okay. It's been fun. See you.